Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to optimize re-renders with should component update. So far, if any component receives a new state or new prop, it re-renders itself and all its children. This is usually okay, but React provides a lifecycle method you can call when child components receive new state or props and declare specifically if the components should update or not. This method is should component update and it takes uh, next props as next state as parameters. It takes next props and next state as parameters. This method is a useful way to optimize performance. For example, the default behavior is that your component re-renders when it receives a new props, even if the props haven't changed. You can use should component update to prevent this by comparing the props. The method must return a Boolean value that tells React whether or not to update the component. You can compare the current props, this.props, to the next props, next props, to determine if you need to update or not, and then return true or false accordingly. Wow. This, the component, should component update method is added in a component called only 11s. So let's check that out. Here's the only 11s. Um, I'm going to stretch this out just a little bit so we can see it better. Currently, this method returns true. Component did update. Should component update. Okay, so right now it just says it, it logs out should I uh, update, and then it just returns true. So it's really useless. Uh, currently, this method returns true, so only evens re-renders every time it receives new props. Uh, modify the method so only 11 updates only if the value of its new props is even. Okay. Um, <clears throat> it's even. Click the add button and watch the order of events in your browser console as the lifecycle hooks are triggered. Okay, so how do we do that? So how do we say is it even? If, <clears throat> oh wait, currently the method returns true. So modify updates only if the value of its new props its new props controller its value okay this dot state okay so if this dot props dot value modulo 2 is equal to 0 then we return true else we return false. Uh, just to cover this real quickly, Modolo, so <clears throat> 1 divided by 2 is 0.5, and so the remainder is uh, 0.5, which is not 0, meaning it returns false. 2 divided by 2 is 2. The remainder of 2 divided by 2 is 0, so it returns uh, true. 3 divided by 2 is um, whatever, one and a half, but it's 1.5, so that would mean that it would render out to one in uh, integers. That is not a zero, and therefore it would return false. Four divided by two is two, and has no remainder, and so would return true. And so that's what we're doing. Let's console log. Oh, look, next props and next state is what's being passed in. Okay, so what happens if I console log next props? And I click the add button. Okay, cool. The values the next. Okay, so look at this. <clears throat> I'm gonna make this a little bit more explicit, though. Uh, next props. If I so, next props is actually an object. If I went type of, you'd see it's an object. And so what I need to do is I can't just say this dot props. I want to say this. No, I want to just say next props. Dot value, right? So next props, which is this one, and I say dot value, which gives me one. And so this wouldn't even render. Oh, cool. Yeah, I think that this is running now. Uh, let's get rid of this guy. Okay, cool. So four, five, six. Yeah, so it's only rendering. It's it's uh, counting doubles. 16, 20, 22, 24, 26. And it's saying it's not rendering on odd numbers. So if nextprops.value is an odd number, it's just not rendering. And so it's not doing this again. This might seem a little useless right now, but if you had a huge application, well, it's kind of like saying, like, say you're on your Facebook page and your newsfeed has something that comes up that's new. 
you don't want your direct messages to um, to reload at that point, right? You only want your messages to reload if they're if it's needed. Anyway, so that's kind of what I think is an example. I don't know the specifics of it. Let's see what happens if we run the tests. Cool, that was it. Um, so yeah, let's go through it one more time. We have two components, one called controller and one called only evens. Well, the first thing that happens is we set only evens and we it's got a constructor. It has a uh, sh component, should component update, um, boolean uh, method function, and then it has a component did update. So this says the component was rendered, uh, re-rendered. That's where you see it down here. This is just a, a console log situation. And then whenever this one is rendered, well, we, we always render it. Uh, I think even let's like refresh the page just by deleting and refreshing. It's rendering zero right now because this dot props dot value, this dot props. But the where it's getting it from is here because of an only even we're setting the value equal to this dot state dot value, which is, uh, yeah, this whole thing dot state this dot state dot value which is zero so when we freshly render this we set it at zero and that's why and then uh, yeah this one does the same thing uh, we uh, this is the controller the controller has an add value function it also has a it's a stateful component um, and it has the add value um, binded to it and then it has its render and it, within it it renders the child component of only even uh, the on click it does the add value so whenever you click we run this dot set state and we set the state so that the value is equal to the previous value plus one and so whenever you click that that renders and then only evens says passes the value and then it when it comes into here it says we render this dot props dot value but because we have this built in uh, should component mount which is basically uh, oh and then component update Oh, component did update. Should component mount? This is a Boolean value. We say the next prop, meaning we pass in the value. Um, and because the first value is one, next prop is equal to one. If next prop dot value, if one divided by two is equal to zero, which is not, it's uh, 0.5 or one. So it's going to return false. So the component did not update. This one's not rendered. And uh, this isn't updated, even though it's still in the application. Now, if I click add again, it does render because um, button on click, we say add the value. So we set the state and the state setting triggers this uh, child component to be uh, ran through again. And then we go to the should component mount and the, va the next prop is equal to a value with the key value pairs of value is equal to uh, two because next props is next props dot two is equal to two, two uh, divided by two is equal to zero and so we return true and then we run the component did update function which well the component updates and that's why it re-rendered it with uh, the number two on it and then we ran this function component re-rendered the components re-rendered and um, only evens is updated and uh, that's it so yeah I hope this helps you guys two four six eight ten twelve fourteen um, so run the test and they pass. Cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.